Hello, we are here to talk about designing a wireless network infrastructure. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, really, there are only about four considerations that I usually uh, take into account whenever I am designing a wireless network. Um, first, you have to know the number of machines that, that you're going to be operating uh, wirelessly. This is because of, um, uh, of mostly DHCP IP address considerations. Uh, if, if you don't have the ability to assign IP addresses to the number of machines that you're going to have, then you need to take that into account. Uh, the second item is the area of coverage. Typically, a access point will give you about 90 meters um, in, in uh, diameter from, from the central point. So if, uh, if you have something that's more than 90 meters, uh, then you're obviously going to have to start thinking about adding secondary and, and, and third uh, access points. Um, and in order to, to really do that, you also have to consider what kind of obstacles are in the way. For instance, if you have an access point near an elevator, then the electrical interference from the elevator is actually going to degrade the signal, so you're actually not going to get the full 90 meter reach from your access point. So that's something to consider. Uh, third is the security considerations. Obviously, whenever you have a, a wireless access point that is tied into your corporate network, uh, you obviously want to make sure that, that people can't just come by and, and get onto your network. So you have to make sure that, um, that it's as locked down as it can be while still allowing your people to be able to access the resources on your network. And the last thing to consider is the hardware that you're going to purchase. Uh, a lot of times people will um, the, they'll assume that in order to have a good wireless network you have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to, to be able to do so, but in reality um, you can get three or four wireless routers or, uh, or a wireless router and a couple of additional access points for under $500. Um, and that's strictly in a corporate sense. Now, if you're working at home, then obviously you would just need one device. Uh, but those are some things to consider.